Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of A Little to the Left. When we last left off, we um, are on chapter, I'm going to say like four or five, I don't know. Um, today we're going to start with a daily title. So, a daily tidy, wow, I'm awake. Um, so let's jump back in. Buttons. So I think there's only one way to solve this one. Oh, this, this, not, this is not buttons. Oh, there we go. Why you no turn? Right? I just don't know if this is in the same thing. I guess we're doing by color, but the seashells do not want to turn. Which is just rude. <laughs> Why is this whistle different? I think this one's literally just colors, so I don't know. Let's find out. Why would you keep these? Well, I think some people use them to craft. Oh, look, there's another way to solve it. There wasn't two stars before you started it. Okay. Just, there's another way. I like how they don't give you the star until you get, like, both ways. I don't like that these don't, like, fit nicely anywhere. I'm just gonna put them in here because they make me mad. I'm gonna put the most useful thing in here. Is it the buttons? Is that the most useful thing? Yeah. I don't even know what these things are. I guess all of these things can be considered. Except for the whistles, but I was gonna say all of these things can be considered, um, like crafting supplies. But I don't know what you craft, craft with a whistle. Extraordinary organizer. Ooh, what's that one? Tidy a thousand items. Wow. That fast. Alright. Two more till the next achievement. We'll have a week. And we're on day three of uh, the dailies, so. Let's jump into the normal game. This is kind of fun after like a couple days of organizing and going. Oh my gosh, please. I'm guessing we don't, we just need to level all these, right? I like this is like really sensitive. Or I haven't changed my mouse sensitivity, so. I don't know why, it's like, I want the coffee to slide back. So that's not the way to organize it. Or it has to be like really perfect, maybe. Um, and this is not something I do. Whenever I put it something on the wall, I just eyeball it for like half a second, and then I'm like, yeah, it's good. So it looks good. Much to everybody's dismay, I don't care about leveling stuff on the wall. The thing is, right, if you look at something on the wall, it's all about perspective. Most of the time you're not staring at things in the wall, like, straight on, so it's always gonna look off, right? Okay, this is obviously not the key here, or not the answer. Okay, what, what are we looking at? We have different colored frames. I don't This one I have, I have 
absolutely no idea. Goes down there in this. Oh, maybe you're trying to get it to line up like if it falls in there, it goes that way. this way, go here, go like that. Okay, fall this way, this way. <laughs> I just never shook that one, I guess. Okay. She's making shit up now. This one I know how to solve because I did it in a daily tidy. I think this is our first daily tidy. I'm pretty sure. Just like the first puzzle we did in the game. Which is fun. the wrong shadows. <gasps> oh, you, you can move the shadows, apparently. That is a thing that happens. Peter Pan would be so proud. Which one did I fuck up here? Oh, I probably have to do... Weird. Ah, oh, the stars. Hey, I have a constellation on me. Hmm. Pisces. Uh, what can we move? We can literally move stars. Okay. It's been too long since I've shook astrology. Every star doesn't have to do this because that would be frustrating. Whee! Need like a cat or something? Oops. Looks like a cat, right? right, it's a cat. There we go. Next. I don't even know what the first one was. Can I go back? No, I can't look. Um, looks like a person, maybe?
with like two paw prints. I realized this was not real consolation, so. Kind of a shame that the Egyptians didn't, like, name all the constellations. Because I feel like they would have done a better job at, like, making something cool out of them. I think it's still a cat. Yeah. I think all of the constellations would have been cats if it was the Egyptian so Ancient Egyptians. like the worst way to organize your icons. to have a uh, lab who I whenever I was sitting on my computer working he would get so like bored of me doing that that um, he would start pressing keys on my laptop so funny I mean it was funny until like you know he fucked with a thing that I was programming or something and it wasn't funny but it was cute okay so this goes like over here. This goes up here. This goes here. Uh, keys go up here. Oh, I did that right away. Laptop goes in the middle. Uh, I can go over there. And this and this. Yeah, set up your desktop icons to match your real world stuff. I'm definitely an icon minimalist whenever it comes to uh, computers. I like the start menu. I don't I don't know if it's like because that's just how what I've always had. But I use the start menu for everything. Wow. Okay, can you get back in there? Thank you. Um. Okay, well, I don't know why you're being dramatic. Goodness, key. Okay, maybe it's this one? Just time off, maybe? I feel like that's right. missing oh look it's red blue look at the icons red blue yellow or the uh, circles there we go did it Put them all in one. I 
don't know what's happening right now. Oh, we need one of each color. I mean, that's what I was trying to do anyway, but... We need a green. <laughs> I didn't put them in I wanna I kinda wanna redo that and do them in rainbow color, but we'll worry about it. We have the fire. That got bigger. It's not Oh you can't put it out. all these bad boys get you know the flames that make the candles bigger yeah I think I'll just do this until they're all the same height right I mean this one yeah a little bit shorter this one needs to be taller So that can't get any taller. Also, it's really fun to just like throw a match around. I think they're all relatively the same height. What a good sound effect, by the way. There we go. <laughs> okay. What about the other way to do that one was? Maybe burn them all down? This is like a combination of puzzles, which is kind of fun. Cool. Oh, because it's the opposite side. That's cute. Why can't I... Get in the box. Overlapping. I 
I was just following the like. They kind of like fall into place, so I haven't like really messed with that much, but. This is not going in the box. This is a straight line, right? Yeah. I feel like this is glitched or something. Oh, wait. There's a latch. Um, you can see it in the mirror. <laughs> These levels are breaking my brain. got going on over here. Heard it all on, Bob. Like a tape or something. Whoa. Okay. I feel like these. Oh, look, you need a heart shape. I see. This one, but this one. Okay. Which one else is off? Or on, rather. I feel like there should be one here, but. Definitely has to be the phone. Maybe it's not. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, maybe I got it. Oh. I did get it. I just had to move the thing back. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. so bad I bad at beat song songs so bad at them whenever I had to do the rhythm song in, in um, Eva land I literally mashed buttons because I could not for the life of me hit keys on the beat I just I need like a trainer can you like can you train yourself to like have like reaction times to a beat every time. Maybe it's because it's not to the beat. That's my problem. The beat has nothing to do with it. Okay. There's this game whenever I was a kid. I think it was a series of unfortunate events, but it was like 
Uh, I think they had made a movie, and then I bought the video game for it on, like, PlayStation 2, and they had this piano, like, uh, mini game, and it took me hours. It took me hours to get through that mini game, because you had to do it to proceed, but, like, I couldn't hit the buttons on a beat. Also, I have very bad, like, controller, like, hand-eye coordination, just because I... Like, it's crazy because I grew up with a controller. Like, I had a PlayStation 2, you know what I mean? I had a PlayStation, place. I've had all the PlayStations. Um, but I got a computer, like a gaming computer, when I was, like, 17. And I used to, like, play MMOs, like, shitty free MMOs on a laptop with, like, no mouse or anything. I just had a laptop. And, um, I, I don't know. I just never used a controller after that. So then I went like a decade without trying to use a controller, and now if I try to use one, it's like my six-year-old nephew can use a controller better than I can. I think my problem too is like controllers have gotten bigger. So like the first couple of PlayStation controllers fit my hands better. Not whenever I, they first came out because I was a child, but um, they just they hit my hands. They fit my hands better. And now the controllers are so, like, wieldy, I can't, like, reach all of the buttons in one go. Is the circle getting bigger? Is that what's happening? Also, I love the color palette of this game. I think I had to do that without, like, messing up. It's a cat! You know that? That cat has fur everywhere. It sheds so much. The whole house is just fur. I wonder if the person who made this game had a cat and like they lost it or something and so they wanted to like dedicate the game to their cat. I don't know why I thought this was spinnable. It, oh, it's because it is. <laughs> Instinct, that's how I knew. We're going into like overtime. screen. Let's go. This is like the only sound effect I got. Okay. Gosh, 
I don't know what I did, but I clicked it. Uh, having all of those legs on top of each other is gross. should be the credits, like, you know? The colors of the game! Fucked it up. I fucked it up, game. I fucked it up. I'm so sorry. Please, just let me, let me take it back out. I promise. I'll, can I undo? I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, I see. I didn't fuck it up. And they won't let you fuck it up, I see. This is pretty. So good at this game, I did that first try. Get these out of here. <gasps> I see. No, do I see? I'm thinking like the olives went here, right? But now I'm thinking maybe the crumbs go here. Tupperware nightmare. Get out of here, cat. God. I need a short one. I need a short one. Oh, I should probably be doing blue. Oh god, give me this blue. Uh, I can't get rid of this red one. Okay. Uh, the cat's wait waiting so patiently.
No, go back. The little one, I need the little one, I need the little one, I need the little one. This one. There we go. Where are we going, cat? For yellow, or we go even higher. Just do yellow, it's fine. What if we went crazy with it, right? What would the game do? No, come back. I just decided. He doesn't need to know. Don't tell the game. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh. Look, it's just ignoring that this is here. That's crazy. I think I kind of broke that for a second. Because <laughs> I was trying to, um... Speed run. Am I doing this right? Looks like the answer is no. we're going to space right now. Oh no. I clicked outside the game. Dang it. Okay. That's fine. We need to fret. Okay. Maybe I'll look. Okay. okay. Wait. Come back. Are they falling faster? I feel like they're harder to click on. Okay. Oh, Tupperware nightmare. Don't you hit that moon. That's how the moon spins, because the cat's in the sky spinning it. It's creepy. Am I the only person that doesn't like the sound of a cat purring? Like, it's fine, and it just, it... It's kind of annoying. Like, just stop. Why are you make noise? We get it. We're happy. Oh. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Got him. Now you get to play as the cat and ruin everything! Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> I wonder, can 
can I do it like this? No, I have to click individually. Oh, wait, it's giving me the solutions, guys. Somebody write this down. Oh, I missed one. I think there is an achievement to be able to hit all of them. Secret mode. Wow. This is a short, sweet game. There are a lot of achievements for this game. Um, I'm not going to pull them up because I'm going to stop. Uh, but it was fun. I don't really care for the cats, but if they want to make a second game where it's about dogs, that'd be great. <laughs> no, it's fine. Oh, these are like the, the creator's cats. That's cute. Those are cats. Oh, look at the puppy. Is that like hamsters? I don't know that one. <gasps> That's a cute dog. No, it's fun. Actually, this is a lot bigger team than I expected it to be because I thought I think this is an indie game. Um, oh, look at the dog and the flowers. It's always good to play a game where you just get to like organize and let your like your I don't want to say OCD like hyper organization needs. Because I, I just enjoy it. Also, light puzzling. I also really like games that have intuitive puzzling. Like, instead of telling you, this is how the puzzle works, they're like, click around until you figure out. Because The Witness was like that. The Witness had way more in-depth puzzles than this game had, but they were all, like, there was no instructions in that game. There was literally, like, y you'll figure it out eventually. And... It was set in a way that, like, it could have easily been frustrating, like, if it had, like, a timer or anything like that. But since it was just kind of a relax and solve the puzzles kind of game, and, like, you got to see, like, beautiful landscapes in the meantime, it was just a really chill game. And that's what I feel like this one is. Like, everything about this- oh, shout out to IT. Everything about this game is just, like, chill vibes, like, relaxing music and, like, no reason to get frustrated. It's just, it's just a simple puzzle. You'll figure out it eventually. And we need more games like that. Because I feel like a lot of games are like, solve the puzzle or your character dies. And it's like, okay, well, uh, we don't need that. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to just play simple, fun, like, short games. This was fun, though. Like, I, I like, it doesn't feel like it was too long. I think there is DLC coming out. So, I might wait to, um... Like, once the DLC comes out, get the DLC and, like, add on to this playlist. Um, a cozy completion and near-earth near earth organizer, which was the last level. Uh